One of the hardest things about kayaking is actually getting in and out of your boat. If you try to get in and out of your boat while you're in the water, you're going to find it's super tippy. Sitting on top of the boat, especially on the back of the cockpit while you try to get your legs in, super difficult. When you're an expert, that's the time to learn that. I highly recommend when you're getting in and out of your kayak that you stick it on the shore. You stick it on a nice flat rock that has a clean slide in into the river. Before you decide to do the slide in, otherwise known as a sea launch, make sure that the river is deep enough at the landing. If you're sliding in anything between six inches and say three feet, all you need is a couple feet of water and that's good enough. When getting out of the water, you want to look for the same thing. You want to look for a place where you can pull yourself up on the rocks and get your boat totally stationary on the rocks before you get out. Your boat shouldn't be floating when you get out of the boat. You should be in, in an eddy. You should pull yourself up. Find a root, find another rock, find something to pull yourself high and dry so you're sitting on a rock when you go to get out. It makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself slipping into the water, losing your boat, having people chase after it. It's not nearly as easy or certainly not as fun. Dane's showing a perfect example of uh, how not to get out of your boat. He didn't pick a very good spot to get out. He got in a small eddy on slippery rocks. He fell in the water. Now he's going to try to get his boat out of the water. Now, he did it safely. None of us are in our boats, however. Where he chose to get out wasn't an easy spot. His boat could be on his way down the river. We'd be scrambling to get in our boats, putting ourselves in danger just to save his boat. So thanks, Dane, for a perfect example of what not to do.